Okay, I'd like to do an updated review on uh, my 210 Bay Reef by Key West. Uh, we've had it now for almost two years. Sadly, we've got about a, a little over 100 hours on the motor, that's all. However, we do a lot of, uh, we do use a lot of our trolling motor when we go out fishing for the most part. So, don't need the motor as much, but, um, you know, look, we've, we've had the opportunity to go out shallow water fishing in the flats. Uh, we've had the ability to go out offshore fishing about, you know, 20 miles out. Um, we've gone in the river, we've gone in some freshwater lakes, we've gone to the disappearing island and cruising with coolers and people and beach stuff. So, you know, we've had as many as six, seven people in here, which of course is the maximum, and as, as little as one. So we've had the opportunity to really use this boat, I believe, to its fullest. And I wanted to just throw a couple of pros and cons together for any of you who may be looking at one of these boats, whether it's brand new, uh, this is the 2018, or whether it's used. So hopefully this uh, follow-up review will help you out. So let me start with the pros and cons on the outside. Um, actually, there's not many cons that I can find, so I'll start there. Um, the one thing that we had trouble with, whether or not this is a factory issue, I don't know, but I have seen on some of the forums, these uh, recessed uh, navigational lights, they're LEDs, they're great, but when we got the boat within the first couple of weeks, the starboard side, the green one went bad. It wasn't working anymore, so they replaced it. Well, about a month ago, this port side, the red one, went bad as well. It wasn't turning on, so I had to order another one. Um, I got it from Taco Marine, uh, ordered it, and the light itself comes with it. I kept the plate, but you know, you'd think that, that as important as navigational lights are, that that would last a lot longer. Um, the only other negative, and this is probably, this is not Key West, it's whoever set up the boat and trailer combination. This piece is a little high. I wish they would have, and I probably can and I will, knock it down one. Um, hopefully it doesn't change the weight distribution of this, but when I drop uh, the trailer in the water to pick the boat back up on some boat ramps, this wheel is too high up and I actually have to manually lift the nose of uh, the bow of the boat in order to get that over that wheel when I uh, put the boat back on the trailer. But outside of that, I've got absolutely nothing negative to say about the exterior of this boat. It is fantastic. It rides well, very dry. The angle down here, these uh, it cuts through the waves great. Um, the way that these chines work keeps you dry. Uh, I love the look of it, the feel of it. It's very solid being that it's full of foam. I mean, you hit that thing, it is solid compared to some of the other boats that are out there. Uh, the way that this swim platform is, the ease of use of the ladder, it never falls over. Um, it is great. This extension, and they talk about this transom extension being here specifically for the performance of the boat. It, I, I, again, I'm not too experienced with other boats, but uh, this thing runs very well and with the 200 on here it's very fast so the jack plate's great addition helps me when i get in some of that shallow water uh, so it's everything on this boat from the exterior perspective has been fantastic the stainless steel rub rail is great um, and then again the trailer has been great too i don't uh, really don't think it matters much what trailer you get but all in all this boat from the exterior side is perfect okay so from an interior uh, perspective pros and cons again I got a few cons on this and I would hope that Key West could make some modifications uh, because it is a little concerning um, I'll start with the easiest ones first I think when you have these doors to so the hatches they didn't come with this weather stripping here uh, this makes a big difference because when you close the hatches and you, you stand up on them, that fiberglass hits the other fiberglass and it, uh, it makes a pretty, pretty loud thud. And if you're trying to be quiet for fishing, um, it doesn't help. So now it barely makes noise at all. Um, so I would definitely highly recommend that they either make that as an option that you can get on your boats uh, or definitely maybe do it aftermarket. Um, here's a, here's a, 
more of a concerning one. This front live well, when you've got it full and you have, you know, recirculating water, actually not, not the aeration piece, this one doesn't have it, but when I'm drawing water from outside, it typically would just reach its overflow right there and spill out the back of the boat perfectly fine. However, when you've got bait in here and you've got the water flowing to keep it alive, or even fish, when you travel, if you put your motor on and you start going forward, the bow of the boat rises up, well then, the, that drain gets higher than the lip of this live well. So the water comes over the top, and this seal is not, it doesn't even touch. I've already looked at it, when you close it down here, you probably can't see it through there, but there's actually light. I can see light through there. So it doesn't create an actual seal. It doesn't even do anything. Um, so I don't know if they should change the seal out, make it bigger, or redesign this entire live well area so the water doesn't come out of the, of the boat. It, it just it pours out in a pretty large fashion onto the deck of the boat. So definitely they should change that. Also, this is a cooler. They, they well... I've seen it advertised as a cooler in uh, this seat. So it looks great. It's got a drain down there. Fantastic. However, there's this does not create a seal. Again, when you close this, so air flow comes in and out, your ice melts very quickly. But on the inside of this, and I'll show you in a minute, there's no insulation. It's just fiberglass. So uh, it gets warm inside this console and when it does your ice melts very rapidly what i did i actually created this thermal shield i you know, there's four layers of it in there and created my own insulation and wrapped that around the light uh, that cooler or storage compartment whatever you want to call it i put some on the underside as well there is a drain down there so i had to put a hole through it but it's encapsulated now in this insulation and uh, it works great. It's, it, what ice used to only last a couple of hours. Now it lasts a lot longer. It lasts all day. Um, so I would make the recommendation that they they at least insulate that piece. Um, the only other thing that I would recommend they change on I received this boat this way without any electronics here, and someone from the factory or wherever put these gauges. On the center of the console and these gauges are in a position where you are limited with the size of electronics that you can put on here um, i did the math on it i looked at it measured it all out the simrad g09 is what i have now uh, it obviously fits with a little bit of clearance um, but if i wanted to i tried looking at the uh, garmin nine inch uh, i believe it's nine inch but it, the dials and the knobs are out to the side it's not the same touch screen and it needed more room. It wouldn't fit. It was gonna to touch this edge here and this edge here. Um, so I was limited with what I had the capability of putting in here. I would highly recommend, if you're ordering this, to have them maybe move this over even just a teeny bit before this starts to happen or realign them a little different way, allowing you the ability to put a bigger um, screen here. Um, outside of that, everything else on this boat has been fantastic. So we'll start talking about the pros here in a minute. So I thought about the pros, and I could probably go on for too long, but a couple of obvious things for fishing. The greatest part, I mean, well, several. The fact that the rod lockers open this way allows you to access them from the ground or allows you to access them from the boat. You got plenty of room to slide rods in there. This holds up to five. And they do fit. I've got uh, almost eight foot rods. They'll fit perfectly fine in there. Um, I wouldn't use it as a fish box though at all because the that water gets up inside there. The fact that this has the five gallon bucket holder is fantastic. Again, you could throw your cast net inside that bucket. You're not hitting your weights against your gel coat. That's great. The fact that the trolling motor power source is inside the anchor locker so good it keeps it out of the rain and the elements and there's plenty of room the anchor the rod lo uh, the anchor locker is great uh, plenty of room for your rope and everything else um, again we talked about 
the fact that this leaks, but having the additional live well up front is so good. So you don't run into the back of the boat to get bait. Um, and then they've got these, we have uh, the rod holders, which are great here too. The rocket launchers on the back of the helm seat, which is great here as well. Again, we don't do much offshore fishing. We definitely do, do, don't do a lot of trolling. If we did, we would probably change that out, but uh, still very handy to have. Good places to put some storage of your rods, as well as the side here, you've got three more. So plenty of room. We've had 12 rods on this boat at one point in time. And then you do have the additional rear live well. Again, very large, great live well, spring-loaded um, opener. So good. Uh, I've got nothing bad to say from that perspective, from a fishing perspective, it's great. Other than that, you know that issue with the uh, with the live well. Um, from a from a cruising perspective, you got plenty of room. Two people can sit in the seat. Great, I love that. My kids, we got two that can sit here and two over here, so we can fit six on this boat very comfortably, not even thinking twice about it. And then the fact that this is so large, inside here, um, we've got our life vests and whatnot in here now but we can just toss that out we can put a porta potty in here or one of my kids can change i could change i'm not a very big person but um it's so nice to have that i mean it's got a light up in here so you it's not that you're going to be missing anything i don't know if you can see that light yeah there it is um very very handy to have this additional compartment as opposed to a lot of the other boats that don't have that uh that feature and then of course the dry storage that's underneath here you can throw your wallet your keys keep them dry your feet can go on there additional storage this boat has storage upon storage which is great for the boat its size um, and then of course again the additional gunnel rod storage so good raw water there's dry storage inside here again it's it's just uh, all in all a very good boat we're unbelievably happy with it um, haven't had any major issues Thankfully, I mean, I would, you would think you wouldn't have an issue, uh, major issues with the boat that's brand new, but um, hopefully this review's helped you out. And if you have any questions, or actually better yet, if you have any suggestions on how uh, you can help me with some of those other challenges, like that live well issue, and or a better option with insulating the uh, that cooler seat, I'd love to hear it. Hope this helps.